What's going on guys? It's WWE Week on the USA Network. Last night, December 15th, 2014, we had post-WWE TLC Monday Night Raw. Tonight we will have main event 7 p.m. on the network and a live SmackDown on USA at 8. And tomorrow we will have Tribute to the Troops at 8 o'clock on USA Network as well. So, last night we had Monday Night Raw, December 15th, 2014, with Chris Jericho hosting the show. To spoil the, uh, the picture on your screen, we'll talk about that segment a little bit later. So, like I said, the guest GM for the night was Chris Jericho, whom opened up the show. Interrupted by people for a 20-minute uh, minute opening segment, some people were complaining. I actually liked the opening segment we had. A couple matches announced for the night. Chris Jericho having a blast as well. We had John Cena versus Seth Rollins announced for a steel cage match. Then Seth Rollins poked fun at Jericho, saying Jericho can't fight the popcorn guy, can't fight a few other guys, including Paul Heyman. Chris Jericho wanted to prove himself and put himself in a match, whereas Paul Heyman with a stipulation to be decided with the WWE app. Opening match of the night, we had a huge explosive tag match where we saw Dolph Ziggler and Eric Rowan sadly not being uh, successful against Big Show and Luke Harper as Show and Harper were successful after Show pinned Rowan after a knockout punch. We saw Natalia and Alicia Fox shockingly defeat the Bella Twins actually. Natalia made Brie Bella tap out with the sharpshooter. Chris Jericho featured Rusev and Lana on his special highlight reel. He insulted them in an amazing segment until they stood up for themselves, and Jericho brought out an opponent that he said wanted to get his hands on Rusev. That was the big guy himself, Ryback. So it appears as if Ryback and Rusev, that match, will be happening most likely at the Royal Rumble. A couple of you guys wanted it to happen at WrestleMania, but it appears as if it will be happening at the Rumble. The New Day, we had Xavier Woods and Big E, two extremely underrated guys, defeating Stardust and Goldust with their finisher, their double finisher, the Midnight Hour, their big ending, flying off the top rope uh, combination. So I am I really like Xavier Woods. I think he's a great underrated talent that really needs to shine. Kofi Kingston was a, uh, a special um, guest ring announcer with Cole, uh, JBL, and Lawler and said Xavier hadn't been in a Raw live match in a pretty long time. So it was Pretty good to see Xavier Woods back in the ring and uh, winning for his team with Big E. We had an odd match with Kane versus Adam Rose. It was pretty much a jobbing match where Kane defeated Adam Rose with a double choke slam on both Rose and the Bunny. Chris Jericho versus Paul Heyman was about to happen. The WWE app voted that it would be a street fight. Heyman tried to pay off Jericho from a few years ago, tried to give him 200 bucks. Jericho denied, but... Paul Heyman then brought out the Beast, Brock Lesnar. Paul Heyman brought up Brock Lesnar. Lesnar came out without the belt. Maybe he left it at home. He brought it out later in the night. Don't want to spoil it again. Talk about that in a little bit. Lesnar no-sold all of Jericho's offense, including a code breaker. Picked up Jericho on his back and gave him an F5 just like that. Fandango came out to the ring then to insult Chris Jericho, also who stole his slammy last week on Raw. Jericho wanted it back, but Roman Reigns interrupted and gave him the Superman punch. Big Cho uh, tried to interrupt Roman from their little uh, bout on Sunday night, but Roman punched him out too, getting Big Show extremely furious. We had Jimmy Uso defeat The Miz. Jay Uso hit uh, The Miz when the referee wasn't looking with their slammies allowing his brother Jimmy to hit the splash from the top rope to win. After the match, The Miz offered Naomi an appearance on Miz TV. Uh, that might be next Monday, on Raw, uh, next Monday Night on Raw, SmackDown, or Main Event. I honestly don't remember what he said, but nonetheless, Naomi will make an appearance on Miz TV. Main Event, we had a steel cage match that was made by Jericho. We had Seth Rollins versus John Cena. It was a pretty long match, and on all, in, uh, in all honesty, it was a pretty solid match. Two nights in a row, Seth Rollins and John Cena put on an amazing show. So, um, yeah, but Seth Rollins won because Brock Lesnar appeared again. This time he brought the belt. He walked in the steel cage door. Now, Noble and Mercury were trying to fight off Cena the whole time. Cena was being a monster. Cena was being Superman, being amazing in the match, and... 
completely awesome. Seth Rollins as well, hitting some great maneuvers. Um, Mercury got cut up a little bit, but Brock Lesnar appeared. The steel cage was open. He walked in. I thought he was going to look at Cena and then attack Seth because Seth curb stomped him a couple weeks ago and like just stare down Cena to push their match at the Royal Rumble. But all he did was walk in the ring and gave John Cena a few German suplexes like he did um, a few pay-per-views ago. Just German suplex after German suplex. But instead of attacking Rollins at all, he walked out. Uh, Paul Heyman walked up to Rollins and they shook hands, forming a so-called alliance, Seth Rollins being a Paul Heyman guy. Rollins then hit Cena with a curb stomp, exited the cage, and won the match. So, Brock Lesnar returned. Brock Lesnar gave an F5 to John Cena and Chris Jericho. Roman Reigns got the upper hand again. Ryback and Rusev, that feud seems to be going well. And Seth Rollins is now a Paul Heyman guy. So that was last night's Monday Night Raw, December 15th, 2014. I don't know, guys. It seems like a pretty crazy show. 2014 is quickly concluding so we'll see what uh how that year ends out it's ending on a pretty solid note as of now so we shall see